Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, it is very consoling to see that many of us we take the season of land very, very seriously. Many of you came for daily mass and Sunday mass. Hopefully during the season of land, you can come on time, not come in when I give sermon. Many of you came for Friday evening for Monsignor Eugene Fass reflection. We saw also our young people to do something for the poor and the needy around us. And some came for a good confession after many, many years didn't come for confession just to purify and to experience God's mercy and forgiveness. If we continue in this direction, my dear friend, I am sure that we are in the right direction. So one theme runs through all three of today's readings. It is very important and comforting theme. You could say that it is the heart of the good news of Jesus. The theme is, we are loved in our sins. We see this in the first reading. In spite of the ingratitude and grumblings of the people of Israel, God doesn't write off his people, but shows his love for them by providing water for them in the desert. Many of us, we like to grumble, to grumble from time to time. One parishioner told me, Father, during season of land, I want to have fasting. Fasting from what? Fasting from grumbling. Fasting from complaining. I want to think with a cheerful heart. I want to be less to grumble to my spouse and children. It is good. Give a try. The message is explicitly stated in the second reading also, as in Paul says, what proof that God loved us is that Christ died for us while we, are, we were still sinners. St. Paul himself experienced, he encountered with the person of Jesus and he had a deep conversion, and later on, he became a great evangelizer, a great apostle of Jesus. And we see the message in action in the gospel. In the gospel of today, even though a little bit long, we can learn from Jesus the art of respecting a woman. How Jesus deal with this wounded woman. He looked for love. She was looking for love. He tried, as Father Remy said in the beginning, six times she met men, but she didn't find a true love. Until, G until she met this Jesus, a living water. Do you notice, my dear friend, 
how Jesus was very very respectful toward this broken woman when it comes to women I know only one way to treat them just like Jesus with respect not only the woman you love or we love but all women in many instances women tend to be relegated to the background in our lives even some of us we look at women as a second class but I disagree with this I cannot say why many men seem to feel that once love is confirmed romance takes a back seat I am not sure whether it is our upbringing or we are too busy chasing the almighty dollar call me old fashion but women are meant to be spoiled put on a pedestal and adore do you dress up for your woman do you tell her do you hold her hand with no reason do you do the small things like open a car door give a morning kiss by a rose for no reason or most important of all leave a love note on the table some men they open the door of a car you can notice maybe the car is new or the woman is new <laughs> <laughs> so my dear friend making a woman feel good can be extremely enjoyable for the man as well so in the gospel of today how Jesus approached this woman by asking a drink of water Jesus was very humble Jesus was very gentle he treated this woman with great respect Jesus treated that woman not as an object but as a person deserve to be listened deserve to be open and talk from heart to heart So let us, in this season of land, all of us, we cannot avoid and escape from women. At least we have our own mother. How do we respect and treat our own mother? How you treat your spouse? So it is vital to take time to discover who your woman is if you do know her you cannot truly love her more importantly you cannot respect her and every woman wants to be respected by the man she loves respect is not only about how you treat her but also how you support her encourage her and even take responsibility to something so she has time for herself in fact showing effort is the greatest form of respect in the gospel even jesus was a jew 
and the Samaritan woman, they cannot associate. But how Jesus put down that barrier? Because Jesus saw in this woman deserve to be loved, deserve to give his attention. And because of that attention and love, this woman came out the best from herself. From broken woman, he came out. He went and shared that he met the Messiah, the Christ, Jesus. He became a good evangelizer. These days, I baptize some people and who asked me to go and to baptize women. Sometimes we see women, they are clever to gossiping. They are clever to keep on nagging. But a woman also have the greatest capability to serve and to win the heart of people for Jesus. So in this season of land, my dear friend, it is a beautiful season also that you and me, we are sent out because we experience the love of Jesus as we are sinners. And we want to go out and to bring more, more people to Jesus. Do you have it in you to respect a woman around you? Can you let her go to become her own person? Or will she only and ever be your partner? Can you let her shine on her own? And if so, how far will you go to help her shine? Can you listen to her without trying to solve her problems? She can solve them on her own. So don't try unless they ask you. Can you open up to her about your work, life, and friends? Anything that is important to you. In short, she is more than your partner. She should be your confidante and you hers. It is not difficult. You just need to put all the personal egos aside. If you are like me, you will believe that love does conquer all. So let us, my dear friend, as Jesus give us a good example, the art respecting a woman. We, in this season of land especially, we want to respect them, not as an object, but as a person. Ask for this spirit, ask for this blessing in this Eucharist. Amen.